Hello there, welcome to another installment of Ask Dr. Mike. I'm Joel DeYoung, I'm the producer on Swarm here at Hothead Games. Uh, and I'm Pete Lowe, I'm lead designer on Swarm. Hey Pete. Hi Joel. Where's, yeah, I was gonna say, I mean this is Ask Dr. Mike, he's supposed to be here. I know, he's not here right now. So what gives on that? Where is he? Yeah, well I don't know. Is he... I don't know. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> so Joel, Joel, <clears throat> Joel. Yes. About two hours ago, when you were off doing producer things, yes, I uh, set a high score for level one. As you can see there, I am the current champion. I see that. Some little championship. I don't know this. Joel, That's my Swarmite Joel. championship belt. Do you see that? Oh yeah. Little That's Swarmite impressive. buckle. Uh, so I'm number one. Okay. Anyway, so the goal is your challenge right now yep. is to beat my score. Okay. I'm and you only try. get one shot at it. We're not really. Gonna be, no, we're not no, going to be editing. This is the magic of editing. We can. Uh, no. We can do another take. That's that. But my it probably score, won't be necessary. I did that in one run. All right, all right. Well, let's so jump right you, in and yeah. do it. Okay. And talk about the and, and I'm going to be fully focused here, so you're going to have to talk about. Uh, yeah. So the, the, your goal time here is, is to go as quickly as you can, collecting as many things as you can, and getting your multiplier as high as you can. When I finished this level, I think my multiplier was at times 38. Wow. It's going to be key here. Stack and try to. And you want to oh, have oh, as, you want to have as many oh, points. Yes. Oh, that was a good one. You want to have as many points and as big a multiplier as you can when you cross each checkpoint, because you double up on your score when you do that. Like a bonus. And as you can see in the top right corner, you've got a time bonus counting down. So the faster you finish the level, then the more time bonus you get added to your score. But there's definitely a balance between getting a good time multiplier and getting enough points in the level when you finish. So you can see here, Joel's just activated a bunch of timed pickups. The timed pickups are worth a lot more than regular pickups, so he's backtracking across the bridge to pick those up because it's very important to get his score higher before he crosses the next checkpoint. The group is the group watching this is growing by the minute there. It's putting the more pressure on. It's a critically important part of the level here. You're going too slow already. Oh, I can tell you that right now. That's awesome. Thank you for the encouraging words. Yeah. And now I'm going to off most of them. Advanced players know that you can actually get this multiplier going up higher if you kill more of them. So exactly, there's certain points in the level I'm going to be judiciously offing these little blue guys. It's a couple of secrets, like some trade secrets there. That's right. Man, the tension is just killing me here. That's the crates. Oh, you oh, missed there, man. Critical failure. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Keep going, Joel. Spread I'll out. Get all those. Here. Get yeah. across the checkpoint. Okay. Right. So here you're shedding swarmites, getting your multiplier up. And you can see here, Joel's using all the techniques. He's boosting, he's bashing, he's spreading. And dying. And dying a lot, which is really important. There's a gallery here, if you haven't noticed. It's the one thing I yeah. didn't have, Joel. I didn't have a lot yeah, of people over true. my shoulder. It does add a lot of pressure. Yeah. Now we go to the critical end game here. Where so you've got your multiplier up to 27. You can get it pretty high on this last section. I'm pretty sure I'd finish this level with a 38 multiplier. I think my time bonus was 1.9. Your really? time bonus right now is 2.3. Are you killing enough guys? Are you picking enough stuff up? Well, yeah, I'm going to try to pick everything up, but if it's slowing me down, i got to get that balance between, you know, time and... Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Hey! Oh. All right. All right. Oh, I don't know. it's going to close. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Oh! oh. <laughs> so close. Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, you missed oh, it by a couple hundred thousand. It's close. Well, you get, to, you get to the high scores like this, it's absolutely critical to every last millisecond counts and every little collectible. If I had if I had smashed that air crate, that probably would have taken care of it. The air crate, or if you'd gone across that bridge a little bit more quickly. This is yeah. one thing I do differently from you, going across that narrow ledge, I actually boost jump across the whole thing That's without risky, losing though, anybody. That's because you might lose one. Okay, well, that about wraps it up. Hopefully we've taught you a little bit about how to do some of the more advanced moves to really maximize your score and beat your friends and... Uh, be on top. So, uh, and, uh, ask Dr. Mike. And for Dr. Mike Hayward, who's not here today, I'm Joel DeYoung. And I'm Pete Lowe. Thanks for watching. I'm still champion. <laughs>